The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, on this Monday morning. It's a pretty tough hour of the morning on Monday morning. It's a little after 4 o'clock now as I make this video. I read all your comments over the weekend about the rain. Almost all of you had some rain. Some of you had more than others. I had about just south of a half an inch at this particular location. Now the front that brought the rain just went through here uh, and is now heading down towards the coast. So our rain chances are heading downwards and the rain we got over the weekend is not even gonna put a dent in our drought situation. We need a lot more rain than that. We'll look at the week ahead. We'll also look at the uh, end of the month and some possible relief that will feel a little bit more like fall, hopefully. Also this morning, the visibility is starting to go down as I make this video. Fog is gonna be an issue. Let's talk about that first, okay? Now, as I make this a couple of hours before sunrise, the visibilities are dropping quickly over portions of uh, central and south Alabama. So, yeah, fog could uh, slow you down up until about 9 o'clock when the sun has a chance to burn it off. Otherwise, there's that frontal system now moving into southeast Alabama, heading towards the coast. That's the one that brought us the rain over the weekend, and that's the one that's going to park on the coast over the next few days. In fact, you can see it later on today, uh, parked around uh, Pensacola and down uh, to the southeast of Dothan. So the best rain chances will shift into southeast Alabama today and also down um, off the coast. And uh, I think that's going to be where the best chance will be for the next few days. Not saying there couldn't be a shower somewhere in Alabama, but I think the chances are going to be relatively small. Uh, we'll mention the fog this morning and then mostly sunny. High around 90, tonight's low 70, north winds at 6 to 12 miles per hour. Will there be a lot of relief from the humidity? No, not really. Um, the humidity is not going to be affected much at all. Uh, you can see out in the tropics, we still have Julia, we have Carl, we have another system in the far eastern Atlantic right now. Um, believe it or not, Julia is still off the South Carolina coast. There's that system in the far uh, eastern Atlantic, which looks like it's going to be a fish storm. It's going to curve. Carl now is going to be moving off to the um, west and northwest and then curving into the Atlantic Ocean. It doesn't look like we're going to have to deal with Carl. In fact, uh, all of the models now are making the, uh, the big curve into the Atlantic. So it doesn't look like it's going to be a, a, an issue for North America. Uh, Tuesday's map shows the front going a little bit farther south, trying to make it to around Cedar Key before it uh, eventually washes out. You can see on Wednesday the moisture is trying to return. That's the last full day of summer. And then as we get into Thursday, I think, you know, it's still primarily a dry forecast. I think the rain chances are under 20% Thursday and about 20% will say widely scattered storms Friday into Saturday and into the upcoming weekend. So high temperature up to about 93 tomorrow uh, lower 90s again on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday with rain chances relatively small until about a 20% chance pops up in the Friday forecast. So still summertime hangs on even though the season's going to change. The uh, GF, uh, the this is the European out 10 days showing that after today most of the rain chances are, are gone for the next few days, uh, probably through much of the rest of the week. Uh, and as we look at temperatures on the um, European, we're seeing uh, generally low 90s for the next few days, which looks to be pretty good. And then a hot period of time over the upcoming weekend. No signs of relief on the 10-day forecast on the European, not on this particular run of the European. Let's look at the GFS out 16 days. We're still seeing, you know, some signs of relief over about the last three days of the month with highs in the 80s and lows falling down to the 60s. Uh, it doesn't look as promising as it once does, but we're still very hopeful that we're going to see some relief with fall officially beginning Thursday morning at 9.21 a.m. Central Daylight Time. That is the autumnal equinox, and even though fall will begin, we won't see any real fall relief until perhaps near the end of the month and into early October. So that's it. That's all I have for you on this Monday morning. I'll be live on the radio, of course, as per usual, from 6 to 9 o'clock with uh, Greg and Jay and LaDonna on News Talk 93.1 and with Bubba and Christy on Bama Country and your forecast whenever you want it on eight radio stations, the entire Blue Water family of radio stations. And also there'll be another video for you tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock on the second to last day of uh, summer. Oh, and by the way, uh, check out our late morning briefing. We do that live. It's pretty cool with multi cameras and uh, a tower cam and a weather computer and radar uh, at uh, richthomasweathernetwork.com. It's an update on the information that uh, I was unable to give you on this video during the morning hours. It's brand new information and I hope you check it out. It's at richthomasweathernetwork.com. All right, 
So I'm out of here. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the morning, okay? Rich Thomas Weather.